more powerful, simpler, and more reliable. Raptor 3 is the engine we've all been waiting for. While it recently showed signs of a possible test anomaly, or perhaps a controlled experiment, its importance remains clear. With advanced engineering and bold upgrades, Raptor 3 is key to the future of Starship, SpaceX, and the aerospace industry as a whole. So, what happened during testing? How is development going? And why is this engine so critical to SpaceX's long-term goals? Let's break it all down in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Introduced last year, Raptor 3 has quickly become one of the most anticipated upgrades to the Starship system. Its importance has only grown due to the ongoing challenges with Raptor 2, especially since Starship transitioned to its V2 configuration. With the recent unveiling of Starship V3, the spotlight is now firmly on the next evolution of the engine that powers it, Raptor 3. To prepare for integration with future flights, Raptor 3 is currently undergoing rigorous testing at SpaceX's McGregor facility. However, as with all cutting-edge technology, the road to success is never smooth. A recent incident during testing reportedly involved a Raptor 3 engine explosion. Naturally, such events can raise concerns. When something like this happens, it's easy to assume that the engine might have design flaws or structural weaknesses. Many might question whether Raptor 3 will be reliable enough for flight or capable of solving the issues faced by its predecessor. Skepticism is understandable, especially when dealing with such a critical component of the Starship program. But it's important to consider another possibility. SpaceX is known for its aggressive testing philosophy. Elon Musk has previously stated that some engine tests are intentionally pushed beyond expected limits to identify failure points. In that context, the recent explosion might not be a setback but a deliberate part of SpaceX's validation process. Until we receive official information, it's too soon to draw definitive conclusions. For now, there is no strong indication that Raptor 3 development is in serious trouble. If you're optimistic about its future like I am, drop a 3 in the comment section down below. Indeed, Raptor 3 is steadily advancing toward the future where it'll play a critical role in the Starship program. For now, SpaceX is still using Raptor 2 engines even though Starship has already transitioned to its V2 variant. This likely stems from the fact that the booster is still in its V1 configuration. However, the full transition is inevitable and expected to coincide with the deployment of Starship V3. Currently, B-18 and Ship-39 are expected to be the first true V-3 prototypes. If things go according to SpaceX's internal cadence of launching approximately every one to two months, their flight, expected to be Flight 13, will likely take place in December of 2025 or January of 2026. That will mark the beginning of the V-3 era, and by then Raptor 3 will be in active use. In fact, we may see signs of this transition even sooner, as B-18 and S-39 will undergo engine installation after wrapping up their production and cryogenic testing phases. Now, let's talk about the power and design philosophy behind Raptor 3. Although this engine version has only recently come into the spotlight, its development began years ago. Early projections already hinted at a substantial upgrade over its predecessors, with expected thrust levels reaching 269 tons, chamber pressure of 350 bar, and a dry mass of about 1,400 kilograms. However, more recent updates have pushed those numbers even higher. In the latest reveal, Raptor 3 is shown to achieve 280 tons of thrust at sea level and an incredible 306 tons in vacuum. Its specific impulse, or ISP, has reached 350 seconds in vacuum, making it one of the highest performing engines ever built in its class. While its mass has slightly increased to 1,525 kilograms, it is still lighter than previous versions when taking into account the power-to-weight ratio and improved performance. These improvements didn't come easily. SpaceX has taken a bold approach to simplifying and optimizing the engine's systems. Many smaller components were either removed entirely or integrated into larger systems. Screws, bolts, and flanges, which typically add mass and increase the risks of leakage and thermal stress, are being phased out in favor of welded joints. This not only reduces mass, but significantly enhances structural integrity and thermal resistance. The use of welded joints also aligns with SpaceX's growing emphasis on high-efficiency manufacturing, enabling a more streamlined and automated production process. 
Raptor 3 also includes new features such as a secondary cooling loop to better manage the intense heat and pressure during operations. This allows SpaceX to eliminate the need for external heat shielding, further reducing the rocket's overall mass. In terms of performance, the simplified and robust design makes it easier for engineers to fine-tune the engine's combustion cycle, enabling higher thrust, better ISP, and greater chamber pressures. In practice, these advancements will allow Raptor 3 to overcome many of the limitations and inconsistencies of Raptor 2. By increasing engine reliability, Raptor 3 will make each phase of Starship's flight which involves liftoff, orbital maneuvering, re-entry and landing, smoother and more controlled. These are all critical stages where Raptor 2 has struggled, especially in V2 Starship flights. With Raptor 3, SpaceX can confidently push the envelope further and take on even more ambitious missions. The simplicity of the new design also reduces the time and resources needed for post-flight refurbishment, allowing for quicker turnaround between flights. Reducing engine mass contributes to overall vehicle optimization, which is a key goal for Starship V3. This upcoming version of Starship will feature even more dramatic performance increases, potentially reaching 9,000 tons of thrust at liftoff thanks in large part to Raptor 3 or possibly even more advanced variants like Raptor 3X. This capability is essential to lifting payloads of over 200 tons to orbit and supporting SpaceX's larger objectives, including the construction of on-orbit refueling systems and deep space missions to the Moon and Mars. Another crucial advantage of Raptor 3 is its potential for faster production. Back in August of 2024, when the first Raptor 3 engine serial number 1 was spotted, it signaled that official production had begun. Since then, a Raptor 3 with the serial number SN20 has appeared, indicating at least 20 units have been built or are in the testing queue. Depending on your perspective, this production rate might seem either impressive or underwhelming. For context, Raptor 1 engines took 36 months to reach 100 units, or roughly one engine every 11 days. With the streamlined design of Raptor 2, SpaceX managed to produce 200 engines in just a year or about one engine every two days. By October of 2022, they had ramped up to producing one Raptor 2 engine per day. Given Raptor 3's improved manufacturability and modular simplicity, expectations are even higher. Some have speculated that only 20 units being visible means production is slower than expected. However, this may not reflect the true count, as many engines could be stored internally or awaiting testing. It's more accurate to interpret SN20 as simply being next in the testing sequence rather than the 20th engine ever built. Additionally, because Raptor 3 introduces new construction methods, like welded assemblies over bolted components, SpaceX may still be refining the production process. Once mastered, these innovations are expected to dramatically increase production speed, especially with the support of automation and dedicated assembly lines. In time, the idea of producing multiple Raptor 3 engines per day won't seem far-fetched at all. In conclusion, Raptor 3 represents more than just an upgrade. It's a transformative leap for SpaceX's engine program and the future of space exploration. With superior performance, a simplified design, and the potential for rapid mass production, this engine is poised to power the most ambitious space missions ever conceived. Whether it's supporting the Starship V3, enabling faster flight turnarounds, or helping humans return to the moon and reach Mars, Raptor 3 is central to SpaceX's grand vision. No matter the present or the future, it is clear that the Raptor engine continues to give SpaceX a commanding edge over its competition in the rocket engine industry. Among its competitors, the BE-4 engine from Blue Origin stands out as the most direct rival to Raptor. Both engines are fueled by liquid methane, aim for reusability, and are designed for fast turnaround between launches. Yet despite these similarities, a closer comparison reveals that Raptor, especially in its latest iteration, is vastly superior in several key areas. A few years ago, BE-4 was considered a promising development. It boasted 250 tons of thrust at sea level, a number that slightly surpassed what Raptor 2 was capable of at the time. This was Blue Origin's main point of pride, especially since the engine was designed to power both their own new Glenn rocket and the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur. However, that advantage was short-lived. 
Raptor 2 has since caught up in performance, and the introduction of Raptor 3 has completely shifted the playing field. Raptor 3 now delivers an incredible 280 tons of thrust at sea level and up to 306 tons in vacuum. With these figures, even the last competitive advantage of BE-4, its raw thrust, has been surpassed. More importantly, the Raptor series continues to outperform BE-4 in other vital metrics, such as chamber pressure. BE-4 operates at approximately 134 bar, while Raptor 2 already reaches 300, and Raptor 3 is reported to exceed that with 350. This higher chamber pressure translates into greater efficiency and performance, particularly in reusable systems. Beyond individual engine capabilities, the overall rocket design strategy employed by SpaceX significantly enhances the impact of the Raptor series. Starship's design allows for a large cluster of engines, 33 Raptors on the Super Heavy booster to be exact, resulting in a maximum liftoff thrust of about 7,950 tons using Raptor 2. When Raptor 3 becomes standard, that number could rise to as much as 9,000 tons or more. In contrast, New Glenn powered by seven BE-4 engines can achieve a maximum thrust of just 1,750 tons at liftoff. That means Starship is already more than four times more powerful than New Glenn, and the gap will only grow wider with Raptor 3. Another critical factor is production speed, and here, too, SpaceX pulls far ahead. Although the exact production rate of BE-4 is not publicly disclosed, evidence suggests it may take weeks or even months to manufacture a single unit. BE-4 engines are physically larger and incorporate many intricate complex components. If those estimates are correct, BE-4 is not even keeping pace with the production timeline of the original Raptor 1, let alone Raptor 2 or 3. In contrast, SpaceX has reached a point where it can produce one Raptor 2 engine per day and Raptor 3 is expected to benefit from even faster production thanks to its simplified and more weld-centric design. This production advantage has massive implications for the future of both companies. SpaceX's ability to mass-produce Raptor 3 engines and rapidly refurbish them between flights opens the door to an unprecedented launch cadence. With more engines available and quicker turnaround times, SpaceX can dramatically increase the frequency of Starship missions, pushing forward projects like orbital cargo delivery, lunar exploration, Mars colonization, and even rapid Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport. Meanwhile, Blue Origin faces production constraints and delays, not just with its rockets, but with the engine supply as well, since it also needs to provide BE-4 engines to ULA for their Vulcan Centaur program. Jeff Bezos once proposed that New Glenn could fly as many as 25 times per year, but at this stage, that goal appears far out of reach given the rocket's slow development, engine supply bottlenecks, and lack of launch infrastructure. While BE-4 has potential, it lacks the demonstrated scalability and flight heritage of the Raptor series. With every passing month, Raptor 3 moves closer to becoming the industry standard. In summary, although the path to the Raptor 3 era has not been without obstacles, SpaceX is approaching a major turning point. With unmatched performance, production efficiency, and integration into the world's most powerful rocket, Raptor 3 is set to redefine the future of space travel. Its superiority over competing engines like BE-4 is clear and growing. So the question remains, are you ready to witness the debut of the engine that could change everything? This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.